All right, DJ Connect fam, what's good, what's good? My name is Andrew Lindley, representing. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to teach you guys how to enable uh, the stems on your actual controller so that you can play around with it on the controller. Um, before I go anywhere, I'm just going to do a disclaimer. I had another guy get mad at me because I didn't do it at the start of the video. I did it in the middle. Um, but you see this big, giant red box right here that says potentially unstable do not use in a performance or any live scenario this is very important do not use this 3.0 serato on on your working gigging computer if you got a club gig or a wedding coming up don't do it like it's it's very easy you can just uninstall it download the official 2.6 release that's on serato.com's main website um you have to dig around to get the beta but like right on the front of the website you can get the 2.6 the official version all you got to do is uninstall this and then reinstall 2.6 but for me like i won't even go to the website on my on my MacBook Pro that I use for gigs like I'm not even gonna go on the website I'm not even gonna Google what a stem is on that computer uh, just because of superstition like I'm, I'm super scared of a crash I'll never like put that thing in risk this is just my home computer so I don't care I never had a crash yesterday when I was playing around with it but like this is just a disclaimer do not install this on your working computer don't do it like just it, it says right here potentially unstable so let's get into the video um first things first you have to make sure that your your controller is on and that it is connected to your computer because you're going to get an extra option right here i had it off a minute ago but i turned it on um so it's already here all you're going to do is you're going to hit settings right here settings up here uh and then you'll see on the first tab dj preferences right here uh, and then right down here underneath show beat controls, quantize value, you're going to have this option here, replace pad mode with stems. This right here, uh, this is it. And then you're going to have the option for loop roll, sampler, slicer. For me, I use the sampler all the time. Sometimes I'll use the loop roll. So for me, I never use slicer. That's what I replaced it with. And then on the controller, all you got to do is you got to hit shift wherever your slicer is so on mine it's the second effect control so it's shift slicer shift slicer and that's going to bring up your stem controls um and that's it like they're going to start enabled as well you have to disable each stem that's the way it works like if if it's lit up it's enabled um and if you like turn it off lights out you're taking away so you're taking away the bass you're taking away the drums you're taking away the melody or you're taking away the vocals so this is it right here i'm actually going to turn the controller off so you can see what the difference is right now it's already in it's turned on it's connected so you also have to have a controller that this is uh it works with and on the on the beta page it's going to give you a list of all the hardware that it works with. I'd assume that it's going to work with almost everything that's out there. Like I got the Rev 7, but there's a huge list of all the stuff that it works with. So I would assume you guys will be good. It's right here. Replace pad mode with stems uh, right in your, your settings. So right from the front page settings right here. Replace pad mode with stems. I'm going to turn my controller off. So give me one second and you'll see what the difference is. And it's also right here. So when it when it is ready to go it's on your main page right here beside the hot cues stems are right here uh so i'm going to turn it off and show you what happens so now it has disconnected like i disconnected my rev 7 from serato um now this is gone not here anymore i'll turn it back on and i'll show you what changes so nothing here like serato is not connected or my controller is not connected everything is blank hit settings uh it's not here i'm gonna turn it on so i just turned it on it's gonna take like 10 seconds for it to load and we're gonna see this option pop up right here so give it a second uh just getting through the colors here a couple more seconds all right connected right here there it is and it pops up now so that's how you guys can enable this on your controller and then you just go on your controller shift and whatever you're replacing shift hit that button you got stems so i will see you guys on the next one make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video nothing but fire this is a question somebody had so make sure you guys drop your questions and comments um underneath and i will always like make a video for you teach you guys what you need to know see you guys later